In this video, I start work on 22ville, my massive custom LEGO City project populated exclusively by the new Series 22C maps. If all goes to plan, every minifigure will get their own specially themed house, starting with this guy right here, the Forest Elf. First, some thoughts about the figure. This kid is absolutely adorable. His little acorn hat and belt, this amazing fabric cape, and what can I say about his little mushroom pal? It's. It's just too much. This is probably my favorite out of the whole series, which is why we're kicking this city project off today with what I hope will be his equally adorable house. It should probably be an acorn house given his design, but this mushroom, man, I, I can't. He's just such a fun guy. There's also the fact that I don't have nearly enough brown pieces to build an acorn house. So yeah, forget it. We're building a mushroom house. I grew up watching reruns of the Smurfs and there's something so iconic about this spore-based architecture, which I want to try to re capture the magic of today. I am definitely not the first to build a Lego mushroom house. I mean, one of the new 2022 Minecraft sets is literally called the mushroom house, but we'll try to give ours an extra bit of character to stand out. For one, we're allowed to use circles, which we can attach to our red studs on all side base to get that classic speckled effect. This stem was an absolute pain. Everything kept falling apart multiple, multiple times. It was, it was not fun. If I had known the scale ahead of time, I probably should have done the stem first, but here we are. I gotta say that Though, the results were well worth it. This was the first time I've ever done an organic build of this size, and I learned a lot. But we didn't go through all of this just to make a big brother to the mushroom babies. This kid needs to live in it. You may have noticed me putting a hinge on one of these walls that definitely added to the frustration so we can open it up and build the interior. There is not much room in here, however, so we'll have to use the details sparingly. I'm not even bothering with the pain it would be to add interior walls. Dude's just gonna have to look at the ugly inner side of the red mushroom walls. At least he gets a bed, okay? But even then, he can't hold his little staff while laying down. In my own little headcanon of the figure, this magic staff is what keeps the kid permanently young and in the wrong hands, that kind of power could be devastating. That is why he's hiding from the world in this house disguised as mushroom, and that's why we need to build a special display rack to secure it when he's dozing off. There's also room on here for this half geode, and here's a little toadstool stool for the boy's mushroom pal to sit on. With that, we are almost... Nice. After some brief repairs and a few more details, now the interior is done. As a finishing touch, here's a vine slash rope ladder thing so the two can climb in and out of the house. The hinge wall can actually still completely shut with a ladder down like this, or it could be stowed away for a little extra secrecy. The reason that we made this Portabella portable is that it isn't a standalone model, it's going to be part of a city, so I designed it to fit over here. For far too long now, we've had this train table in our Lego room with literally nothing on it except this basic train loop. So this is the perfect place to start 22 ville construction. There's not a ton of space and the builds are all going to be relatively small anyways, so the different districts I have planned out are all going to be compactly mishmashed together. Our little forest elf and his new mushroom house can go here in the furthest corner of the forest. And we also have what will be a marshland, a desert, and a tundra all surrounding the central metropolitan area for future house locations. This sky blue background will help cover up the distracting shelf behind, and it just so happens that these minifigure display plates fit perfectly around the border of the table to cover up the space that the base plates left over. Although now with all that set up, I want to switch out this green rope back to the black one to help it stand up more against the green grass of the forest. And sorry about this Chippendale, but I'll have to steal your nuts to get at least some acorn representation in this build. Other than that, I'll spruce up the immediate surrounding area around the mushroom, but we also need to leave space for the handful of other houses located out here in the forest. We'll get to the first of those in the next episode, but for now, that'll be it for Forest Elf and his amazing house. I am super excited about this project, and I hope you are as well. Speaking of which, we haven't actually bought all 12 of the figures yet, so if you want to see us make the full series, consider leaving a like or a comment on this video to let us know we should go ahead and do that. Once future episodes come out, they should be on the screen right now, but until then, have a great d- Oh no. RUN! <laughs>